Recently, fans introduced me a horror movie. After watching, I find it also good. Especially this scene. Extremely stimulating. Very attracting. I don't think I can enjoy the movie alone. I must share with you. So here it is. A horror movie of the year 2020. Book of Blood. At night. A librarian is rearranging the book. Then suddenly heard something. He was curious to see. Another person in the mirror. The man was afraid to run away. But still got caught. Turns out he borrowed money on great interest. This man came to collect his debt. Pay for the debt or die. The librarian said hurriedly. He knows a book. Which is worth a million dollars. After knowing the book's location. The man still killed him. Then he got in the car. With partners. To go to to where the book is. At the same time. In a luxury coastal villa. Because Jenna has a disorder. The sound of chewing food from family to her. Sounds like 90 decibels. The atmosphere in the house is rarely happy. This makes mother very unhappy. She discussed with her husband and was about to put Jenna in a psychiatric hospital. After hearing their conversation. Jenna packed up some personal belongings. Then hurried to leave home. Upon arrival at the station. She spotted a man looking at her. Even got into the same car. Jenna got out of the car in fear. Just stepped down, almost got hit by a car. In this car, are the two thugs from earlier. This place is also, where the book is. Jenna comes to a homestay. The host is an elderly couple. The house is arranged very cozy. But this cozy looking house, has an unpredictable danger. Jenna is acquainted with another guest, Gavin. After entering the room, Jenna just lay on the bed to rest. Thanks to extraordinary hearing. She heard something moving inside the wall. Jenna pressed her ear to hear. Then on the wall, LL suddenly appeared a cockroach. The landlord also appeared right behind. Called her to dinner. When Jenna turned her head to look. The cockroach is gone. She thought she was hallucinating. But while eating. She saw a cockroach again. Getting up from the floor. The rest also saw it. Jenna was skeptical. Could the cockroach on the wall earlier be also real? After the meal, Jenna and Gavin sat by the fireplace. Gavin is good at talking. He got Jenna's love shortly. Two people also exchanged phone numbers. After returning to the room, Jenna put on her headphones and fell asleep. At midnight, Jenna seemed to be crushed by shadow. Although she is still very alert, the whole person could not move. A woman holding a glass of wine in her hand, appears in her room. The woman turned her head. She has a wide mouth. The woman did not harm her. Just opened the door and left. A while later, Gavin entered Jenna's room. He seems to be doing something. Then suddenly something caught him. Next, the host couple entered. The landlord took the tape measure to measure Jenna's height. The next day, though Jenna remembered what happened last night, she thought it was just a dream. Not thinking much. A normal person would leave this place. But Jenna loves it here. She decided to stay. At night, Jenna is getting ready for bed. Then heard the noise in the wall again. Following the sound, she found a secret door. Opening the door, the scene in front of her eyes froze her. Inside the wall there are people. A man that looks like a dry corpse. At this moment, a knock on the door rang. The host heard Jenna's screams. Jenna hurriedly took her phone. Text Gavin to tell the police. This action makes me question Jenna's intelligence. Why didn't she do it with her phone? Why still text someone else? Jenna did not expect that Gavin's phone is in the hand of the landlord. It can be seen that Gavin was in trouble at this time of landlord discovered the door opened by itself. She just walked in. Jenna beat her finger to the table lamp stand. Jenna took the opportunity to run away, then found out that all windows are locked. The house owner approached. Jenna tried her best to pry two pieces of wood on the wall. Just stepped inside. She was grabbed by countless hands. Jenna's 
screamed out of fear. She frantically struggled, just got out, then caught by the other couple. The landlady injected Jenna with anesthesia. Until she wake up, she found herself awake, but the body could not move. The hostess sits next to her, gradually revealed the truth. She used to be a nurse, used to see so many people suffering from illnesses, to help the patients not to suffer. She ended their lives, after finding out. Because of not wanting to make a big deal, the hospital just fired her, but not make her responsible. Later her husband was also unemployed. The daughter's family wanted to move, to stay away from them. So the couple defies everything, used specialized knowledge, to turn the girl's family into moving corpses, hidden under the floor, to be able to live forever with them. Among them include grandchildren. It is said to be too perverted. From then on, the two kept killing the other victims. They renovated the house into a homestead. The guest's fate was no different than her daughter's. Currently in this house, under the floor, behind the wall, and full of bodies. That night was not her dream either. The landlord measured Jenna's height to prepare a place for her. Gavin also shared the same fate with the previous victim, tucked under the floor. After that, she was planning to sew Jenna's eyes. Then suddenly there was a knock on the door. She opened the door and saw. It was the man who followed Jenna. It turned out he was the father of Jenna's ex-boyfriend. His son committed suicide. The last call before death was to Jenna. So he wanted to find Jenna. To ask for more information. But he did not expect that. He came to a dead place. The landlord sneaked from behind and killed him. While the couple was cleaning the body, the anesthetic also gradually wears out. Jenna can move. She tried to get past the window. Seeing the boyfriend's father's car, she intended to drive away. But unexpectedly, the two intended to bring the body into the car. Jenna hurried into the back seat. Then, the house owner drove to the brink and created a traffic accident let both people and car rush down the cliff but they didn't find out jenna was hiding in the car she fell to the cliff too will jenna die in the end let's talk about it later the scene changes mary is a single mother the only son also has forever left her due to leukemia this incident made her just want to kill herself one day a man named simon went to her office claiming to be able to communicate with a dead person. He was sent here by her son. Hearing her son, Mary didn't refuse. She gave him a chance to prove it. They started the seance ritual. Simon stood in an empty room, surrounded by white walls. After the ritual began, the light suddenly went out. There was a scream in horror. Until the light came back on, the white wall is covered with words. Mary saw a line. Mom, I haven't slept yet. It turned out that before he died, the son asked Mary. Where do people go after death? Mary did not know how to respond. She had to lie. Human just fall asleep. From then on, Mary trusted Simon a lot. To be able to talk to the boy more often, Mary took Simon to her home. The appearance of Simon helps Mary find motivation to live again. Of course. The two became a couple, but not long after. During a drunk drink, Simon revealed his true form. He confessed to Mary. All were staged. Mary's ex-husband hired Simon to help her step out of her loss. The words on the wall were written from before. Just spray the prepared chemical. The letters on the wall will appear. The sentence that Mary's son said was also due to listening to her ex-husband. Mary collapsed. She just had hope. But it had gone. She desperately entered the boy's room, hugging teddy bear while crying. Unexpectedly, strange thing happened. The blackboard on the back appeared the words, bring him here. On the bed suddenly appeared a person. Mary went to see. She burst into tears of happiness. The next day, Simon found Mary, asked if it was last night. Did he say something wrong while drunk? Mary was not angry at all, but just told to conduct the ceremony tonight. Simon had gone. Mary's son appeared on the swing. At night, Mary brought Simon into her son's room and said, you pissed them off. After Mary got out, the swinging chair began to swing. Mary's son appeared. He said, we have never fallen asleep. Then, in the room appeared hordes of demons. It is true that everywhere were ghosts. 
the current scene makes me want to recite a poem. Under the sea is water. In the room is ghosts. Simon was surrounded by ghosts. Engraved all kinds of letters on him. Hearing the bitter scream in the room, Mary smiled happily. At the same time, the town's power went off. This place sinks into the night. A car goes towards town. Nearly ran over Jenna. These are the two thugs at the beginning of the film. They see a me here to look for the blood letter. Suddenly, there were ghosts running through. The car suddenly broke down. Bennett got off to see. Steve suddenly heard someone calling his name and saw a shadow. Following the sound, Steve went to a church. Bennett followed and found Steve kneeling on the ground. Point the gun at his chin. He saw the dead mother. She said he did too many bad things. Must expose the crime. Shortly Steve shot himself. Bennett witnessed it all, but he never gave up looking for the blood letter. When he got to the car, then the car turned on the light and ran to Bennett. After avoiding the hit, Bennett found that there were no people in the car, only a few rats. He has not given up yet. He went to the destination. This house is Mary's home. Bennett fumbled into a bedroom, seeing an old woman. This old woman is Mary. Simon with his body full of letters also appeared in the room. Mary told him, this is the blood letter he needed. The blood letter is a book of dead souls telling about themselves. Current Simon is that book. At this time Mary's son also appeared. Bennett found out in horror. His name appears on the blood letter. He frantically ran away. Run run, run to a homestay. It is the house of the old couple. The landlord is handling the body. The woman appeared behind him. Hit him to the ground. To this point, the three stories are linked. The footage moved to the hospital. After falling off the cliff, Jenna didn't die. She was saved and taken to the hospital. Jenna got out of the hospital. After many things happened, she kept thinking about her boyfriend. He loves her very much. He said he can do anything for her. Jenna didn't believe. She told her boyfriend to jump the stairs, but unexpectedly, he jumped. After he died, Jenna was criticized a lot. She forgot this memory segment. Now, Jenna felt hurt a lot and regretted a lot. She could not forgive herself. So, she made a decision. Jenna went to the homestay. Knocking on the door, she rushed into the arms of the hostess. She asked the hostess to sew his eyes and ears. Become a zombie. Put on the floor. Since then, she did not see or hear anything. No more suffering. Jenna's name also appeared on Blood Letter. Although the movie has ended, but the story about Blood Letter has not. All those who do evil deeds will be written there. This movie is quite similar to the movie Horror Story in the Morgue that I once told. Both talk about evil things make bad consequences. God does not forgive anyone. All right. This story ends here. See you in the next chapter. Bye bye.